everybody, hope you're all doing really really well and welcome to my spoiler free review of Iron Widow. So Iron Widow is a book that I discovered through the author's YouTube channel. Uh, if you don't know, Jiran Jia has a YouTube channel that they basically started up just to dunk on Mulan 2020 and how bad it was. Um, and then because they got like a shit ton of subscribers from that, they were like, oh, I guess I better do this is a YouTube thing now. Um, so they started doing like, um, you know, looking at both other Milan films and other sort of Chinese inspired films and stuff and like sort of discussing the historical accuracies, inaccuracies and inspirations and stuff. And it was really, really interesting. And at the end of every video, they mentioned that they have their book Iron Widow coming out. I think like a lot of people, I just kind of, you know, kept an eye out for it. It sounded really interesting. And then the cover got revealed and it was like, oh my God, I have to buy this. And then once the arcs went out and stuff, everyone was raving about it. So I had to read it for myself. And I absolutely love it. So I'm gonna read off the synopsis because not gonna lie, this is a very, very difficult book to try and explain. So I'm just gonna read off the blurb and then I'll get into like my review. So the blurb is, the boys of Huxia dream of the celebrity status that comes with piloting chrysalises, giant transforming robots that battle the aliens beyond the Great Wall. Their female co-pilots are expected to serve as concubines and sacrifice their lives. When 18-year-old Zixian offers herself up as a concubine pilot, her plan is to assassinate the ace male pilot responsible for her sister's death. But on miraculously emerging from the cockpit unscathed after her first battle, she's declared an Iron Widow, the most feared pilot of all. Now that Zixian has had a taste of power, she sets her sights on bigger things. The time has come to stop more, more girls from being sacrificed. And yeah, it's such a fun sci-fi historical sort of blend of a book and it's just so fast paced and it's just so enjoyable. The world building in this as well is absolutely fantastic. I love how it's that really, you know, Pacific Rim sort of mecha robots fighting sort of thing with then a lot of very Chinese history and stuff and old patriarchal sort of views and stuff. It's a very patriarchal society and stuff and it's, you know, it's explored in a very, very interesting way and I just love that fusion of very futuristic with very historical sort of elements. I also love the idea of the military and the pilots and stuff so as you as you sort of heard there the, the pilots and stuff especially the male pilots are very much like celebrities which I thought was a very interesting angle to go for because what the author could have done was you know go very militaristic with it you know with them being perhaps generals or lieutenants and stuff but actually you know they're you know they're be definitely being like you know maneuvered by the higher ups and stuff but they're actually like you know more like celebrities and stuff I just thought that was a very interesting almost Hunger games -y s kind of move um, in terms of like you know playing the media and um, that being a huge part of stuff um, interesting their angle just to really bring it in. I really, really enjoyed um, just how that worked in with everything else. In terms of characters, Zixian as a main character is awesome. And I absolutely love her because you go into it and she's such a bitch, but she has so much like right to be so bitchy. And it's just so refreshing as well to have a female character in YA who is so pissed at everything. And, you know, because so many so many authors try to do the angry female character, but then they, they don't quite go, go into it as much as they go, Zhao and Zhao does not hold back on how angry her character is and it's so like almost refreshing uh, to re be able to read about someone who is so right rightfully furious in a book just going ham on everybody like he's just such a fun character. You know, I like that she's driven by vengeance you know she wants to get vengeance for her sister and all the other women who've been mistreated but she still has her morals and stuff and you know she's not she's not a black and white character she has so much depth to her and there's so much going on in her head that she's just such a fun and fascinating character really to follow and to watch her navigate the stuff she has to go through and watch her decide the things that she does. You know this this book is very uh, you know very anti-patriarchy it's you know feminist rage at the way women have been treated historically and still are treated to this day but it has nuance, like, don't worry if you think that this is going to be all women are good but all men are bad, like, it really, really isn't. It is a criticism of the system and people who use that system to their advantage or rig it and stuff to make things better for themselves and stuff, you know. And I do like the nuance as well within Zeshan's own character about how she she sees the because she does kind of go into it almost as all all men are bad and all women are good, but she finds out, you know, that's really not the case. There's shades of grey to everybody. And she can't just take things at face value, you know, she's a very, very interesting character and watching her kind of go through that, it was very, very fun. Yeah, I mean, you also have her friend Yeezy, who is a sort of richer, richer boy who she kind of forms a friendship with. And she's kind of got feelings for him, but doesn't really want to go there because she doesn't want to jeopardise her friendship. But just before she goes off to join the military, he kind of reveals that he likes her too. But it's kind of too late by that point and she's off to go and become a pilot where she believes she's, she is going to die. And... But I love Yeezy as a character, like he's just so sweet 
and so like caring and stuff and whilst he still you know messes up and gets things wrong and stuff he's just so sweet and I just love how he develops with this book and he's also not just all sugar and spice all things nice sort of things you know he's got a dark side to him I really like seeing that come out of him and stuff at times his relationship with Zishan as well just developed really really nicely I loved their friends, friends to lovers aspects I do like a good bit of friends to lovers from time time to time and it was just so much fun and I just loved how supportive he is of her and stuff and how he kind of like you know manipulates his way into different situations later on in the book in order to be able to help her and stuff. He's a really really fun character and I can't wait to see more of him. And we also have Shimin who is the male pilot that she gets assigned to help after she uh, kills the first one that she was assigned to help and you know he's he's very much you know he's, he's a prisoner who kills his entire family that's basically being forced into the military because he's got a very very high like level of being able to um you know, pilot the mechs and stuff. And, you know, so, so Zeshan kind of takes him as face value because everything's from her point of view. So she's very much, you know, this is a man who's going to hurt me. He just kills people because he doesn't care about them. You know, he doesn't care what happens to the women, you know, because he sacrifices them every single time. And, but you find out that's a heck of a lot more to Shimon than you realize. You know, she realizes that she was wrong about him initially. And I just really, really enjoyed his character and how he kind of like develops and grows and how his relationship with Zishan grows and develops and as well. His interactions with Yuzi as well were really, really fun. I really loved seeing those two together as well. Like all three of them together was, was a really, really interesting dynamic and I just loved reading about the three of them. But Shimin was just like, you know, he is, I think, one of my, my favourite character of the three. Although I do, I do love Zishan. No, it's just a very, very interesting book. It's so fast paced as well. Like, oh my God, it does not stop. Um, but I really, really enjoyed that. Like I read this almost in one go. I think that was partly why was just because you just, you can't put it down because there's no downtime. It's just go, 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 go. So I would have perhaps liked a little bit of downtime and stuff, particularly relationships wise. I, you know, that is important in this book and I would have liked to see the characters interact in downtime more, but you know, they're at war. There's a lot going on. You know, it's very tense and very edge of your seat a lot of the time and stuff. So I did like the fact that it was just go, go, go the whole time. And it, especially because the book I'd read right before, it was really, really boring. So I really enjoyed this. It was very, very refreshing. And yeah, it was just really fun reading about this trio of characters who are just so morally grey and are doing some really questionable stuff. Although I do find that perhaps the greyness of them was like, you know, the stuff that they get up to is almost too justified sometimes. And I would have liked just a little bit of me questioning whether I should have been rooting for them because I think that would have worked really really well within the story if the readers are like should, 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 should I be condoning that? Whereas I feel like you know even though they do see a lot of very questionable and shitty stuff it is almost justified quite well so you understand their motivations whereas you know it would have been kind of fun if it had been like you know a little bit more morally grey a little bit darker and the ending as well was absolutely awesome like oh my god what a fucking plot twist I cannot wait to see where that, where that goes like I need the sequel now oh my god it was just so good I want to reread it already like it was just so much fun. I really, really enjoyed this book. I can't recommend it enough, you know. It's 4.5 out of 5 stars for me. Just knocking off that 5.5 because of the pacing and the, um, and the sort of, you know, justified morally grayness sort of things. It's just a couple of things here and there, but honestly, it's just so enjoyable and it's just really great if you want a book that will just, like, completely capture your attention and is really, really good, easy to read. You know, the writing's very good, it's very digestible and stuff. You know, absolutely fantastic. Cannot recommend this enough. I love it so much. But have you read Iron Widow by Juran Jie Zhao? What did you think of it? Let me know down in the comments. I would love to hear from you. I think I really, really need to talk to people about this book. And yeah, just please talk to me in the comments about this. If you reached this video, feel, feel free to leave a like and feel free to subscribe. At the moment, I'm trying to post one or two videos every single week. But thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.